Hello everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome to my channel. So today is another fragrance related video and it's all about how to make your fragrances last long. I've mentioned in quite a few of my fragrance videos that I do have a fragrance space um, playlist which I will link in the description box down below which features all of my fragrance related videos. Um, but the reason why I want to do this video is because I know there's many of us, including myself, that love, love certain fragrances, but they don't last very long. And although you want to repurchase it because it smells amazing, the lasting power can be awful. So today I have some tips on how to make your fragrance last a lot longer. So the first tip is to use an unscented lotion. The reason being is that when you use an unscented lotion and then apply your fragrance, it will lock in the fragrance and not distort the scent. If you're using a lotion that is heavily scented and then you apply your fragrance, it might distort the, the actual scent um, of the fragrance. So always try to use an unscented lotion. Alternatively, if you love your scented lotions, you can use Vaseline and rub it in your pulse areas. Um, and then you can apply your fragrance in those pulse areas and that will also um, make your fragrance last a lot longer. The second tip, which I see so many people doing is that every time I see them, I cringe. So this is to spray your fragrance rather than dab not dab but i see so many people do this they spray and they do this I'm, i don't know if it's because they're trying to make sure that their fragrance lasts longer because obviously fragrance can get expensive and when you're spraying all over the place you don't want it to run out so i don't know if that's why people do it but you that could be the cause of your fragrance not lasting long and the reason why your fragrance might not last long if you dab is because you are causing the top notes of the fragrance to break down a lot faster. So try and spray your pulse areas without dabbing and see how long your fragrance lasts. The next one is to find a fragrance that works for your body chemistry. So I've been doing quite a lot of fragrance related videos and um, for me personally, when I watch other people's fragrance related videos, a lot of times it's so easy to be like, oh, I want that because she loved it and she made it sound like it was amazing and I do the same thing. However, different fragrances work for different people. For example, I love Giorgio Armani C. Some people hate it. Some people don't feel like it lasts long. For me, it lasts all day, eight plus hours. So it's very much subjective. So what I would recommend is when you go into certain stores, ask for a sample, try that sample and walk around, go home, just let that let the fragrance sit, melt into your skin and then you, you will know if you like that fragrance and whether that fragrance will work for your body chemistry. And once you do find a fragrance that you absolutely love, but you also wanna try other fragrances, I recommend looking at the notes. A lot of times now I can find a fragrance online without having to smell it because I know the notes that I gen I generally like. So for example, I love patchouli in the base notes. I love um, ylang ylang, I love vanilla, I love notes of amber. So when I look at fragrances online and I'm not sure how they smell and I don't really wanna go in, I will look at the notes and if it correlates with one of my other fragrances that I love and last long, I will go ahead and purchase it. So be mindful of the notes. I know sometimes it just seems like a bunch of words that don't make sense, but if you look at a fragrance that you love and you look at the notes, go online or go in store and say, oh, I want a fragrance that has patchouli, has amber, has ylang ylang, has so-and-so has vanilla has is a gourmand fragrance all things like that and more 10 and nine times out of ten that fragrance will generally work for you because the notes are similar i do mention notes here and there in my videos but if you were to google all of the notes of the fragrances that i like you will know you will see that the notes are generally almost the same there might be one or two that are odd ones here and there but most of the time they tend to have the same base notes another tip another tip that everyone should pretty much know but i'm not sure if they do is to apply to your pulse points so inside your elbows your wrists the back of your um your knees your neck and behind your ears i know some people have a tendency including myself which i still to do till this day is you just spray like this and walk out but if you put it in your if you apply to your pulse points um your fragrance will last a lot longer than if you were to just spray around your body. And my last tip is to layer your fragrances and create your own custom scent. Now this can be quite scary if you're new to fragrances, 
but it's definitely a trial and error not all fragrances are going to work together there's certain fragrances that i will not pair with any other fragrance because it works fine on, on its own however the miss dior Eau de parfum i find that sometimes it can be a bit too powdery for me um but it is a floral a woody floral scent so i will often pair it with another floral scent that's a lot lighter and the rule of thumb is that you apply the heavier fragrance first and then you apply the lighter fragrance to, to avoid the first fragrance overpowering the second. So those are my tips for how to make your fragrances last long. Definitely try these out if you haven't been doing, or doing so already. These will make so much difference to how long your fragrance lasts. Um, if you do have any other tips that I have missed, definitely comment um, down below. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.